Uh oh, see? But, because she see? thinks he's coming after her. He's watching nope. me. No, he's not. Dude, it's me or you. <laughs> and I got a stick. <laughs> What's up YouTube family? It's Andrea here at VW Family Farm and I am heading back to the cluck wagon. The day has come. I told Ben when we started this endeavor that when the day came that I had a bunch of eggs left um, for a week, I would have to think about changing my strategy. And that day is here. We've had two weeks in a row where uh, we have one main customer that buys a large chunk of our eggs and then we have a store that they're in as well as friends and family that are really here, really local to us. And then um, that's who mainly buys our eggs. So we never built the cluck wagon to go into the egg business, honestly. We built the cluck wagon as fly control for the cows. So the original plan was for them to follow three days behind the cows, scratch through the cow patties, for lack of a better word, eat the fly larva, and help control the fly population on the cows. But based on when we were able to get these chickens, because we got them as spent hens is what they call them from a laying house, they, were, they had reached uh, the point in their life, they weren't very old, but they were going to start molting. And so uh, laying houses do not feed chickens through a molt like that. They will get rid of them and get a fresh set in. That's just how it works. So we didn't pay very much for these hens. And then what we did pay, especially with as many as we bought, uh, we made back by selling part of them. We sold about half of them. Uh, and we could have sold that much more, especially during all that's been going on. We have people stopping almost daily wanting chickens. They just see what all we've got going on and, and they think we have animals for sale all the time. And sometimes we do, but not all the time. So all that to say, we never went into this as an egg business, but at the time of year we had to get them, I've had to feed them all winter long and sunk a lot of money into feed because there was nothing for them to scratch around and get. But the plan was always to put them out with the cows, let them get what they could as far as bugs, there's grass, there's all kinds of stuff out there for chickens to free range and eat, use the cluck wagon as like a homing beacon. According to Joel Salatin, that's what keeps them coming back because that's the home they know, that's where they wanna lay their eggs. Um, and then whatever eggs they lay is just a bonus. We've got organic eggs to feed our family. So our plan never was to pump them full of as much feed as possible and get every chicken laying almost every day and all that. That just never was our plan. Our plan was to let them scratch around and eat it and whatever they laid, they laid. But it has helped make part of our money back in feed uh, by getting all this abundance of eggs we've been getting but I can't afford for my fridges to be completely full of eggs all the time because I have other things I wanna put in there. I got my feed sack here. I was feeding them about 50 pounds a day uh, and that's about a fourth a pound per chicken because there was almost 200 chickens. Then I scaled back to about roughly about 37 and a half pounds. That's about one and a half five gallon buckets of our chicken feed. Then I've scaled back to 25 pounds and today this is probably about a third of a 50 pound bag so you can do the math. That's about 16, 17 pounds. So I'm scaling back even further. The plan is when it gets hot summer, there's lots of bugs, lots of things for them to scratch on. They've got tons of room back there is to not feed them at all. That is what Joel Salatin does. That is who inspired us to do this. And so that's the plan. The other big part of the plan is it was never meant to be such a big production to move these chickens. Uh, the plan was no fences. Joel Salatin does not have fences around his. No hot wire, no netting, nothing. Because of the cluck wagon, um, and he calls his something different, I can't think of it at the moment, but because of that, that's what brings them back there. They don't stray too awfully far. And just to be quite honest, the ones that do stray quite far are the ones that he calls not very smart. And so you're gonna lose those anyway, some way or another, because they're not the smartest chickens in the bunch. So I'm heading back there to attempt to move them during the day, hoping they will follow feed, and then hoping they will follow the cluck wagon. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take some crates. I gotta grab those up because I'm gonna bring some of my colorful egg layers and buffs and just whatever, honestly, that I can catch um, and bring them back up here to the house in case something does, a coyote or something gets in even during the day and wipes them out. I don't wanna lose those. Like I said, I'd hate to lose the red ones too, but the red ones are in fact completely paid for. Um, they've paid for themselves with the eggs and with the ones we sold. And just to be frank and honest, we could go get more of those um, at some point when that chicken house sells more of their spent hens, but I really wanna hang on to my heritage breeds I've worked hard to get going. All right. 
Okay, so I'm back here. I'm gonna feed them and get um, some of the ones out that I want to. I brought some cages and get them ready so that later when Ben gets home closer to dark when they go in the cluck wagon, all we gotta do is hook up to it, scoot it on down the field. And we're gonna ditch the fences and um, just start cutting the feed back. I'm gonna take my Easter Egger, Olive Eggers, all those back to the house and feed them. And uh, they're gonna have the old little egg mobile that we used for years so that I will still have a backup plan if something happens to all of these. Caught a bunch of my buffs and colored chickens, but I had to call for help. I should have brought a net or more feed. Got me a helper. He's a good chicken catcher too, and that helps. So I caught several, but we've still got several to catch and we probably need to feed them a little more. We're trying to catch them so later we can move them and just leave mainly the red ones out here. So we're catching like Easter eggers and bucks. I gotta show you this kid in action. He's a crazy good chicken catcher. Doesn't hurt that he's young and fast either. I think he's caught all the Easter eggers. We've got these seven standout buffs that we're trying to catch. Snagged it! chicken all right all the buffs have gotten smart as to what we're doing so here is the last few holdouts We got them all actually all we left is red so that that was perfect all right guys the kids and i worked at this off and on all day getting these chickens moved up here we clipped wings we brought the original uh cluck wagon the mini version that ben and lane built years ago up here we've got them set up in the backyard i love having chickens and roosters in the backyard love hearing them crowing uh, so they're set up they're good to go i wind up bringing about 30 up here you can see them they're a mixture of buffs and olive eggers, Easter eggers, couple barred rocks. There's the OG cluck wagon and they are piled full in there. They're in there just playing around. Ben actually got some pretty funny footage of me cleaning those nesting boxes. And this rooster right here was making me pretty nervous. So anyway, I've told y'all before, those are the scariest animals on a farm, roosters. It's just a little chicken. I don't like roosters that follow me around. He thinks you're throwing something on the ground for him. Well, I'll throw him some. Here, it's your poop. Dude, not kidding. Okay, I don't like you. 
sorry. Your eyes are freaking me out. <laughs> Look at him! He's kicking! Go! Go! You better watch my back and not let me get flogged just for fun. That would make good video. It wouldn't make a good marriage though. So Ben's home. We're heading back to the cluck wagon to spruce up those nesting boxes and see if we can move the thing. Um, he's got a little friend with him. Let's see who it is. Ben has found him a friend. We're fixing to turn it loose in this pen out here because it's completely fenced in. All that's in it right now is chickens. love that you're going to let her chase their chickens. <laughs> and they're out running errands for me. <laughs> Alright, so we lured the chickens back there with some feed. Pepper got to come, but she's down there where she'll be safe and not hurt a chicken. She just had her a little fun romp through the pen at the house with Lane Nimmo's chickens. and She wanted to eat one, so she's down there hanging out. We gotta lock this thing up. And we're gonna pull it down there. Fence free this time, huh? Free range 100%. 100% organic chickens. Perfect. How have you liked these automatic doors? I think they work perfect. Yeah, they're awesome. The only thing is we have to come out every once in a while, very seldom, and adjust the time for yeah. the set. As the days get longer. Yeah, we All right. this up. Yep. <laughs> Why did the camera go down? I stepped in a hole. I think I just either broke my ankle or sprained it. I hope it sprained. That's the ditch line from where we won run the water line. <laughs> I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing with you, right? All right. I'm okay. <laughs> What's sad is that's the second time I've failed today. I felt another time. <laughs> I can't even say it. When Lane and I were working. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm clumsy. And I have <laughs> and I have weak ankles. So there's that. But I'm okay. Nothing's broken. And we're now we're gonna move the cluck wagon. Look like 150 chickens, but it is. Now the cluck wagon's moved. What's next, honey? Well, now we're gonna see how this is gonna work. We'll keep you posted. I hope we don't lose all these chickens right away. <laughs> um, they're doing good. The only other time we've ever tried to move them during the day, the kids did it. It didn't go well, but it was a very hot day. And they kept trying to go back to where the cluck wagon was previously parked. They kept huddling there, kind of like a bee does that knows where its hive was. But 
they've done a lot better today. They've come out here with food. I, I mean, they're kind of roaming around. Hope they all come back. Yeah, I hope this works and they come back to the cluck wagon at dark. But what was what was the saying that the smart ones will survive? Yeah, that's what I told them earlier in the video that Joel Salatin said you're gonna lose the dumb ones. I hate to say that. That sounds so harsh, but I mean you're gonna lose those probably one way or another unless you just pamper them. But um, so we will see how this goes. Hope to get some organic eggs out of it. And now we can take all these awesome fences down and use them at the house. Yeah, we've already been talking about putting them out in the uh, some of the cow pen out back that's got a lot of this buttercup in it. Um, get the sheep to eat that down, move the sheep around more, keep them out of the pen that they've been in all winter. So yes. it'll, be a, it'll be a good thing all the way around. Yep, so that's it. We got it moved. They are officially free range chickens. Yep, 100%. We will see you guys later. Till next time. God bless.